Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map. Now, I was um, looking around before starting up today, and we got some, uh, some tools production going on, and we're delivering tools into Haven, right? So we're delivering 22 of 62 there, uh, and that's, uh, that's good. Now, I'm thinking I want to uh, expand the tools delivery. So, uh, it occurred to me that maybe uh, I thought about bringing it over here into um, Camelot. But then I got to thinking that I might actually want to, uh, to bring it into the mega city complex here and start doing some work up here. Now, part of the reason for that is we have oil refineries here and those oil refineries uh, will eventually be useful and then we'll have a trunk line into the area and that may or may not make things useful and then we'll also have uh, the start of some infrastructure up here and I figured I could bring the tr the uh, train line through here along the coast or, or the shore here through the gap here and we could stop at Mega City 2. So to that end I'm going to uh, grab a, a cargo station and we're going to put the cargo station right about here and we're going to put it not on that angle we're going to put it at a about that angle, I think. Um, yeah, about that angle will do. That's going to clobber a whole boatload of buildings. But that's fine. Um, uh, and this is going to be the Mega City 2 uh, cargo. No, freight. Okay, so... I'm going to build the line going from this way. So we'll uh, we'll take a look here. We're going to build tracks. And we're going to go out. We're going to go out of here level. Right. And we're also going to need to dual track it. Okay. So we've come out of here level. Uh, if we continue. Yeah. Uh, if we do this, okay, we can get an upward trajectory without too much trouble, so that's okay. Right, now we just need to go through this gap here. Whoops. Yeah, so if we go through the gap like this, yeah, I think that will work. Good. Now... We just need to get the tracks to come up over to here. Now, how are we going to do that? We're going to come this way. Okay. If we come this way, if go force it level across here, that might actually help with the, uh, the elevation stuff. We're going to come around uh here now if we yeah yeah i think we can uh we can uh, get behind the notion of uh a slight embankment along there that's uh perfectly reasonable don't you think yeah doesn't look terrible uh right and then we come around here now that embankment that's not terrible either. So having the tracks going level means the uh, trains will stay better uh, at speed, right? Now, what we want to do over here is have the main line come off straight and then, then bend that way and then, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause things here. And we're going to take this bit out uh, here, right? Now we're going to rebuild that. 
Um, right. Okay, so we want to come across here, level, uh, like this. Okay. Now, can we get down to here? No. Too much slope. Okay. What if we uh, back that up a little bit further? Too much slope. Okay, that can get down there. Okay, to about there. Okay, so if we were to come out like this, kind of like this, can we get up? We can. Okay. That's not ideal, but I don't have the uh, resources to mess about with that. Um, okay, we can come out here, good, and up to here. Okay, that will work, and that does not look terrible. Okay, well, we will, of course, drop in here, and we'll put the requisite signaling here. Here, and here, uh, and we'll do this, and this. Okay, and we'll need one here. Okay, now we can uh, let things uh, continue going. Now it's a question of actually we didn't need those signals there because we're going to change uh, how this uh, goes okay so we're gonna come out of here uh, level ish okay pointing that way now the real question is how does that connect? Now, if we do that, yeah, we're going to need a viaduct there by the look of it. Um, or we're going to need to go around that way to make that a little less egregious. Okay, so if we come around this way and we go down... Um, uh, kind of like that. Now, does that improve the... Hmm. I think we want to back that up just a little bit more. Okay. Now, let's see. That's the riverside. Okay. That is better. Okay, we can accept that. Right. And all for just a little bit of curvature. Um, okay. Well, that does in fact get us a track that goes basically where we want it to. We're going to need a signal or uh, or a dozen or so along here, right? So we'll do that, right? We'll put in some signals. We're going to have to run a couple of trains up here. Uh, we do have some uh, fairly straight track in uh, spots along here uh, with some minor uh, corner stuff going on. But I think if we fling two or three trains along here, uh, we should uh, we should end up with a relatively um, 
minor um, bit of traffic on here, but we'll be able to feed into Mega City 2. And from Mega City 2, uh, we can probably transfer up to Trantor. But uh, I don't think that's going to be the initial situation. What we're going to want over here is another um, platform. Uh, right, just so that we don't uh, over uh, overload the uh, the uh, platforms, right, uh, with uh, products. Now, I'm going to run this out a little bit of a distance here with, a, with extra tracks. And then we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to do a sort of station throat thingy here. Um, right. Okay. Um, good. Uh, I want to have room for an extra, uh, train, uh, to, to, uh, park along here and that, so we don't, uh, end up blocking things. So we'll do this and what, uh, we'll do this. Yeah. I take that out. Okay, I think I can make that uh, connect now. Okay, good. Right. So, we're going to want a signal there, a signal there. And we'll need one here. Yeah, so that will allow us to have uh, a train uh, parked uh, on the uh, side there. Uh you know, waiting in here. Uh, and that's uh, that's what I want there. I, I want to do that to avoid uh, blocking uh, traffic if this gets really busy, right? Uh, now, let's up the tempo here because our loan is maxed out. Um, now, what is... Uh, what is uh, that uh, thing there? Um, right. Um, I want to look at what the, uh, the train is. It's a class GV with 10, 10 box cars. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to buy a vehicle. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have one of those and we're going to do cargo. We want box cars. Seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we're gonna buy two of these. Buy. Okay. Whoops. Now on here we're going to do a new line, which is gonna go here, all the way to here. Right. Let's pause the game here while we're uh, fit fiddling with this. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, this is going to be... Hill, Valley, Tools to Mega City 2. Um, yeah, this is going to be uh, Freight. No, Delip. Delivery. Okay. Right. So uh, now we're going to uh, jump on board this train here and we're going to ride the line. 
so that we can see what the whole whole thing looks like. I want to see what that junction looks like largely as well. We're not going to pick anything up here on this first uh, first run. There's our other train, right? And that's why I wanted to have the, the waiting track there so we don't block the rest of the line. Now, we're going to just trundle along this existing track here. Which is nice and straight, of course, and we've got trees uh, off in the uh, fields there. This actually looks really nice. I've probably commented on that before. Uh, th that is one thing that's that uh, Transport Fever has done well, and that's the uh, graphics. It's not quite photorealistic, of course. But it is remarkably realistic. And you know what? I think that's all it needs to be. Remarkably realistic. Right, okay, so we're now, now we're coming up to the nose of the ridge here. Right? Where we did the, uh, the rebuilding stuff. Right? There's a train going the other way with uh, lumber. And here's our junction point, right? That does not look as good as it should. Okay. I'm going to have to come back and, uh, and tinker with that, I think. But this part does seem to be okay. We're uh, rocking along here at a whole 50 kilometers an hour. That's 31 miles an hour, you know? Don't you know? Yeah. Yeah, 50 kilometers per hour. Ooh, we got a bit of a hill. Oh, look, an animal. And now we're just going to head off. Yeah, we're coming around the hills here. And then we'll be heading through the gap. And off toward Mega City 2. Yeah. That is actually uh, a gap. Uh, yeah. Okay, here's the uh, the actual uh, the thread through the gap here. A little bit of a cutting. And yeah, we're coming up on the city. Yeah, so that's definitely a good, good place to run a uh, mainline type operation there. Uh, we've got plenty of uh, track space for other trains to come along here, so we will definitely use that. And here we come into the station. And here we go. Yep, so far so good. Good. Now, there's the other one. Does, did this one pick anything up? No. Uh, right. Now here, this did not turn out quite so, so much like I wanted it to. Yeah, this, yep, okay, we need to do something else with this, okay, um, but we need to make sure we have enough cash to do that something else, um, right. I probably want to split it back a little bit further. So if I do do this, uh, maybe like this, and okay, and we can come out like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way we need to do it. So we come up to here. 
Okay. Right. We'll pause it while we mess with this. So we take everything out back to here, including these. Right. And now we can run our no we're going to back it up to here yeah now we'll run it down no 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 use that one first okay yeah do it that way okay that's going to give us a uh, less egregious divergence there yes okay so that's going to need these right and here yeah yeah we'll put another set here because that's climbing a hill okay right that is acceptable okay now we'll grab this guy and we'll ride back through that junction. That should be a lot less egregious. It wouldn't have been so bad, but it was building a uh, the uh, ballast pile beside the track on top of the other track. So that just... Yeah, that just uh, isn't right. So, yeah. Needed to do something about that. And, okay, yeah, that's actually entirely reasonable as it stands now. Uh, of course, I wasn't paying attention to the track beds there. Um, let's go through here and actually pay attention to the track beds. Um, I hit pause by accident there. Okay, and we're coming through here. And how does all of this look? Um, yeah, it's okay. Okay, that gets us a, a connection into there. So let's uh, come over here. We are, uh, we are putting up some tools for delivery there. That is good. So I think we might need to step up our uh, trains coming through here. Yeah, I think we do. Okay. No, we'll, we'll take here. We'll manage that. And... If we put a couple more trains on that, yeah, we'll get uh, more raw materials in. We'll be able to uh, run more uh, uh, finished uh, tools into the other uh, the other uh, places, right? Right. Yeah, we're running full trains in here, so that's uh, that's actually pretty um, pretty good. Yeah, we're having a huge pile of stuff stored up here. Uh, hopefully, that's enough to keep things. Uh, ticking along over here a little better. Yeah, I think that will, will keep things filled up better. Now, we're obviously uh, moving a lot of stuff around here. So, uh, like this here. Yeah, we got 70 tools going on that one. And this one, we have 13. Right? When this guy comes in, we're going to drop off a fair chunk of uh, cash here. 
uh, or, or products here. And we'll exchange that for a fair chunk of cash, obviously. Right. In it comes. And we get one point some million. Yes. Okay, so I think we've now got it definitely to the point where we're making real cash. Um, yeah. Train. Okay, if we go in here and we turn that stuff off, uh, we can sit here and observe trains coming in and out. So we got the uh, delivery train coming down there. It's going to block this guy leaving uh, as he comes in here and picks up uh, 70, well, he picks up a full load, right? Yep. And we got this guy coming in with more lumber. And in we come and we're going to have, yep. So uh, as you can see, just this little bit of uh, watching here, we have picked up enough to pay a fair chunk of the loan, almost half the loan. Uh, I'm going to pay off the loan here because, uh, you know, saves uh, 100k uh, a year by doing that, or a pay period, I guess. And that's uh, definitely uh, definitely worth doing. So we got another train coming. You are raw materials. And in we come. Pay off another million. Yeah, we went negative. Pay off another couple million. We got two and a half million left to pay off. So as you can see, we've got some real, uh, real cash coming in now. So this is definitely a viable uh, freight operation we have set up here so far. Now we just need to continue expanding it. So I think next time around, because this is going to be all we do for this time around, it was the project, right? I think we'll look at connecting up the mega city complex and getting, uh, getting uh, I guess, uh, the tools delivered on as well to the um, uh, to the other uh, destination over there and uh, maybe get some internal passenger transport in the mega city complex there and then once we've done that uh, we can get on to uh, I guess bringing the tools also and and the connection up to the uh, Haven I think it was Camelot whatever Camelot I think it was uh, in the corner there. Yes, I think we've got enough uh, production here to support that. And then it'll ultimately be a matter of uh, uh, eventually, I can't remember if there's more tools production on the map or not. But we might need to uh, connect that up. Uh, we might also need to connect up some additional uh, forests and whatever. But otherwise, uh, it looks like the tools chain is uh, largely established. And this delivery should allow us to uh, clear the loan. There we go. The loan is gone. Now, if we look at it from this angle, uh, we can see trains coming in and going. So we're going to have some proper busy uh, uh, train uh, stations along here. And you know what? That's really cool. Uh, that was kind of the goal for this uh, this map was to have uh, longer track runs and uh, some proper busy trains moving a proper amount of cargo around, right? And it does indeed look like we've done that. 
And we've got trains arriving and leaving at this station at a pretty good frequency considering we're still in the, uh, the uh, steam age, right? The early steam age. Yeah, everything is, is looking really good here. So I'm going to call that the, uh, the end of, uh, of this part here. Uh, I'm going to park the camera over here so that I remember that I hopefully remember that I was going to do some stuff over here. Uh, notably connecting Mega City 2 with Mega City 1, Trantor, and New New York. And also doing that for cargo and passengers, right? So I'll, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with that next time. But there is some stuff to to do and we'll also probably connect these guys up at some point so yeah things are going pretty well on this map so i guess uh that's all for now so so uh stay healthy don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much uh there may or may not be a light that at the end of what may or may not be a tunnel so you know don't let it get you down too much it it will be what it will be and of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, or not. Apparently it helps if you do that. I've never seen any evidence of that really, but, you know, there's only, uh, you know, a, a few dozen of you, of, of you subscribers out there at this point. So, uh, not much of a sample size, is it? But anyway, subscribe or not, hit the bell or not, it's up to you. And I guess, see you back next time.